Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another speed build. Now this week's build is going to be obviously in the brand new French bakery that we got in the premium shop. I have been waiting for this bakery ever since I first got kind of like teased and got a leak that we were going to be getting this. I've been literally waiting every single week so that I can get this bakery to put in my plaza and kind of complete my whole valley. So a valley tour will be coming but today we are going to be decorating the inside of the bakery. So let's get started. So inside the bakery I did want to decorate all four rooms and I did want to kind of tie them all together but make them something slightly different. So as we'll go through I will kind of explain what each room is going to be. So this first room I kind of wanted to keep in a kind of very much entranceway theme and I wanted it to look like the part of the bakery you'd come in just to kind of pick up an order or kind of just grab something from the display counter and then in the other rooms I kind of expand kind of a seating area and things like that but in here I wanted it to be mainly the main focus be kind of the counters and having kind of all the cakes and treats on display and decorating around that. So first I went in and obviously changed my wallpaper on my floor. I did use the Ratatouille wallpaper. It just works really, really well in here. It's very simple, but also very delicate. And I went with a lot of the dark brown tables and pillars just to keep with a kind of dark theme. I did want it to be very cozy in here. I wanted it to feel like kind of a village bakery. And so I went for some more sort of dark brown furniture and I started arranging where I thought things may work and where I may want them to go and kind of had a play about with what I had in my inventory. So then I did go in and start placing the counters. I use the frozen counters that we got in the premium shop. If these ever come back and you don't have them, I would highly recommend them. I use them a lot. I have them in my own house and I also use them for my tavern build as they are this just really beautiful dark wood rustic look, which I really wanted to use in my bakery. I didn't want to make it too modern in this main room. I wanted it to be kind of more old school, more cozy, more like a kind of small town bakery look. So I think these dark ones really worked well, but some of the darker modern furniture can also work in here as well if you don't have these. Now with the back of this kind of sort of counter section I did want to use two bigger tables or two bigger kind of units to put things on because I really wanted to use obviously the new Monsters Inc coffee machines we got in the star path but unfortunately these are too big to go on a normal counter. They're very four square items so they don't fit on the counters so I knew I'd need a bigger table back here to kind of place those on and I kind of decorated around that and I wanted it to look simple before I went in and put in a load of food. As you can see I used a lot of different sweet treats which we'll go through later and it dotted them about on the counters so people would come here and kind of select what they wanted. Next I moved on to the left hand side room which was going to be my kind of extended seating area. I wanted this to match the main room and kind of feel like it's a continuation of the first room. Obviously if we had the ability to make kind of big rooms and knock walls down and things like that this would have all been one big room but instead I wanted to make this a nice kind of cozy coffee seating area I feel like a coffee house or a bakery that's got a nice kind of seating area in the back so I went in and started placing in some of the bigger furniture like the big green couches and also some smaller stools and things like that and started mapping in where I wanted everything to go in the layout. <music> First I went off with the same stools in here that I use in the kind of main entrance room but I actually changed them up for some of the Encanto chairs. I felt like they worked really well in here. They're kind of these really cute 
rustic chairs and I felt like they just worked in the room as itself and just looked a bit more structured than the stalls and I kind of went around and dotted in a load of books I wanted it to feel kind of cluttered but also organized in here but I felt like the books just had a nice kind of homely touch and I added a lot of different paintings and things on the walls I wanted it to feel kind of rustic and though as though the person who runs the bakery has kind of collected artwork over the years and put them up on the wall for people to enjoy so I kind of dotted those about throughout the walls I then went in some, with some bigger brown tables to go between the couches. I wanted them to just feel like these really simple tables that could go in the middle. So I used some of the Wanderer tables from the bundle and I kind of finished up the room before moving on to the back wall room, which I wanted to be kind of our bakery kitchen. Now in here, I definitely went for a more modern, clean look. It was a bit more modern than the rest of the build. However, I felt like in a bakery, you would need this kind of big, organized, simplistic kitchen to kind of prepare all the different sweet treats that you would be serving and even though it didn't really fit with the rustic look I'd gone for for the rest of the bakery I felt like it only made sense for it to be a little bit more modern a little bit more sleek so it's kind of just a, a bit of a different atmosphere in here but if you are someone who was hoping to do more of a modern style bakery these are kind of the objects I decided to use from the modern furniture and I just felt like in here it just made sense for the back room of the bakery to be very kind of sleek and go for this kind of white and black look. in here I did use a few windows dotted around to kind of lighten everything up I used the same windows I'd use in the rest of the build to kind of keep the continuity of what kind of windows we would have in this whole building itself and then I kind of figured out where I wanted the rest of the cabinets to go I did want there to be a lot of cabinets in here I pretty much wanted to line all the lower walls and also the higher walls with cabinets because I wanted to feel like in here there's a load of storage where they'd obviously store all their ingredients and things like that. I placed in a couple of ovens as well as a couple of fridges to make it kind of seem as though there's a lot of stock in here of their ingredients they would need to make everything to serve in the bakery in the front of house. Then I went in and added in a bunch of food. I used actually some kind of raw foods and fruits as well as some of the food we buy from Remy's as well as a lot of crafted cakes and treats. I kind of wanted it to look like in here they had stock ready to go or they tested out new recipes and things like that. I also used a couple of the time bending items, some of the recipe books and things like that we get from time bending. I dotted those about and kind of finished up where I wanted the last few cabinets to go just so everything was really full and really dispersed before I finished up. Now the final back room which is the one on the right hand side is a bit of a random one but I kind of was debating what to put in this room did I want to make it another kind of seating area or something like that but I actually decided to make it a cute kind of like apartment style bedroom so that the person who obviously owns the bakery they would live here and they kind of converted their own sort of townhouse building into the bakery I felt like it was just a cute concept I thought it might actually work really well because I couldn't really figure out what else to put in this room I thought I could do another kind of seating area room or a bit more of a like structured dining area but I didn't want to do too much of the same thing so I actually decided to go for an apartment style room so as you can see I've gone in and placed in the main furniture I wanted to use I did want to have it like kind of divided slightly with some of the partitions which I add right at the end but I did want it to just be a very open very natural room I wanted it to feel like someone actually lived in here but it wasn't too complex or complicated I felt like the person who would live in here would be very kind of simple and would spend a lot of their time either in the front of the house selling the pastries and cakes and things or they would be in the kitchen 
working on new things so this is kind of their only their space to kind of hang out when when they're going to bed and then they get back out there and do what they love doing So this is the final build so we will go through this is obviously our main entrance room which is our very rustic cozy kind of small town village bakery and obviously in the entrance where you can see I've put some kind of little small seating areas by the windows with some snacks on them and wanted this entrance way to feel very open very bright I wanted it to kind of mimic when you'd walk into a bakery and you'd go up to the counter and you'd pick something and it has small bits of seating but nothing too major and cluttered in here I want it to be very open in the kitchen counters you can see obviously a lot of sweet treats i kind of went for things that were not uh, items on their own they were like trays of things or plates of a lot of items to kind of mimic what you choose from then if you head into the left you have our kind of extended seating area which is kind of wanted it to feel like it was just a continuation of that main room and in here we've obviously got a lot of comfy seating with the couches as well as some smaller table areas with again lots of sweet treats all over the tables in here I added a lot of different paintings on the walls to make it seem very kind of cozy and a homely environment as well as one of the tangled fireplaces at the front which just looks super cute in here and matches the vibe really really well. As we head out of there and we run around to the far back room we obviously have our bakery prep kitchen as you can see in here it's very modern but I feel like the continuation of the same lights and windows kind of ties it all together somehow and in here obviously it's just very clean very simple there's a lot of ingredients about and recipe books and everything you could ever hope for I used a lot of the time bending stuff which worked really well like I used a fire extinguisher which you get with time bending which I felt just was a really simple touch but made it seem a lot more like a realistic kitchen so I wanted a lot in here that kind of mimicked that and I feel like it's just such a nice bright space the final room on our right is obviously our kind of mini apartment room in here I wanted something really simple really cozy and somewhere it just feels like the person who owns the bakery would kind of have their own little spot in here where they would hang out but they would spend a majority of their time in the bakery doing what they love but I wanted it to be kind of just a simple cozy little room to kind of have off the side here where they would obviously hang out and stay so here are some shots of the final build i took a few shots in each different room so you could kind of see it at different angles but i'm really happy with how the bakery turned out I've, as i said at the start i've been waiting so long for this bakery it's actually been painful to be honest because ever since i saw it in a leak way back when we got the update i knew i was so ready to create my own bakery in the valley so i'm very happy that i've now finally had the chance to do my bakery and it definitely will be staying like this it just looks super cute in here and I really actually feel like I'm going to enjoy spending some time in here and coming in here to cook when I'm on the go doing quests and things like that but it's definitely better than I thought it would turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as I said before this was the final building I was waiting for before my entire valley was done so there will be a valley tour coming soon on the channel let me know down below if you're excited for that but that will be coming because I've spent a lot of time getting my valley completely finished so I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like let me know down below if you guys picked up the bakery this week if you're really happy with how it turned out and if you're gonna decorate your own if you've already done it let me know and uh, that i do have a discord server in the link is in the description so if you do want to show me your bakery and how you did it feel free to join up in there and pop it in there for me to have a look i'd love to see it make sure you like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye